I was waiting for you. I sent you a raven one week ago. What took you so long to come to my house? Did I scare you last time we met? No. Ah, good to know. You are a brave soul. You are so very trustworthy. I appreciate that you didn't pick up the sage leaves yourself. You knew where to find them, but you've waited. I guess you're also very clever. You certainly knew that I would have cast a spell on your soul if you had made the decision to pick them up behind my back. <laughs> Here it is. Fresh sage, full of magic. It can also be burnt if you dry it. I believe my sister, the White Witch, will know exactly what to do with it. you. We have a deal, remember? I have a sage for my sister. You ask her for something I want in return. Hmm. Good. Bring this sage to my sister and tell her I want the siren necklace. Yes, you heard me right. I want the siren necklace. What? You think it's too expensive? <laughs> Do you really think that this quality of sage harvested in the most powerful time of the year? does not worth the siren necklace. And may I remind you that it was your idea to exchange my service for what I wanted. <laughs> no, my dear, you haven't been tricked. If you know my sister and are close to her, you know that she likes this necklace, but I assure you, she doesn't need it to make her potions and enchantments. Oh, you look upset. Let's have a cup of tea. It will lift up your mood, I'm sure.
me know what your favorite tea is. I have green tea, black tea, and rooibos tea. Black tea, excellent choice. Have you ever heard of Tassiomancy, the divination art of reading tea leaves? Yes. I believe you never had a tea leaves reading before. No. Most people use Tassiomancy as a fortune telling tool, but I prefer to use it as a way to dive deep into the unconscious mind to unravel buried truths. Real Norfor Drink it slowly, no need to rush, but be careful to not drink the leaves. They must remain on the bottom of the cup. Go on, drink it. The tea is not poisoned. If I wanted to kill you, I would have used a quicker way, like a spell. Preparing tea takes time. Why would I do all of that just to kill you in the end? You really don't get my sense of humor. I think you spent way too much time with my sister, the White Witch. Maybe it's time for you to spend more time with me. You will learn more with my teachings than with her sugar-coated enchantments. 
Huh. You disagree? Oh. You believe her enchantments to be really powerful? Really? Hmm. I'm sure she has improved her magic skills. It's been a long time since I last saw her. Yes, we studied at the same school of magic, but then we went our separate ways. She became the white witch to help people improve their lives. While I traveled the world to discover all forms of magic, I spent many years in Nordic countries and in Asia. You can see as my collection that I own many different magic objects from different cultures. They all help the soul dive deep into its shadows to find its true essence. Then, I went back home, and now I offer my services as a witch who is not scared to embrace a darker side of magic. No, not an evil form of magic, but rather a less comfortable side of magic. Have you finished drinking your tea? Yeah, good. So now, look at the bottom of the cup and let me know what you see. Quiet your mind and look closely. What are the shapes and the patterns? you are seeing. What do you see? Oh, you see a dragon. Good. How is this dragon? Is it resting on the ground? Or is it flying up the sky? It's flying. Good. How is it flying? It's flying downwards. Oh, interesting. Are you seeing anything else? No, you don't know. Oh well. Seeing a dragon flying downwards is already something. Usually the first reading doesn't lead to a successful interpretation. You should be proud of yourself. Why am I not reading the leaves for you? Oh my dear, how can you dive deep into your unconscious mind if you don't let it communicate with you. I am just here to help you decipher the message that your unconscious mind sent to you. Well, a dragon refers to your power are your ability to manifest what you want in life. If it flies downwards, it can mean that you may have the impression that you have little control over your life. It can also mean that your power is not mastered, which can lead to frustration, excessive rage 
or even suppressed anger, which can cause digestive issues. What? What were you expecting? Do you think I'm gonna tell you that everything is fine with you? This is not what I do. I look into the shadows. If you step foot into my house, you should know that. And you must be willing to embrace your shadow. What? My shadows? Yes, I know them, of course. Oh, I see. You think that I'm not willing to embrace and face the conflict I have with my sister, the White Witch. <laughs> and you think that I'm running away from it. I like you. You're challenging me with my own medicine. That's bold. I honor your bravery. Enough talking. I would like you to reflect on the dragon flying down. It's a private conversation you need to have with yourself. Remember to ask questions and be open to receive answers. Tonight, you might have dreams or nightmares. This is your unconscious mind talking. The question is, are you willing to listen? to it <laughs> and about your dragon finding what makes you passionate about life finding your true and unique talent and expressing it to the world will help you make it fly in the sky. Now go and bring the sage to my sister. Tell her I want the siren necklace. Oh, and one more thing. If she refuses to give me the siren necklace, well, the sage leaves will turn into ashes. I made sure to cast a spell on each of them. Get. It was a pleasure to have you for tea. I am looking forward to seeing you again, my dear. Goodbye and good night.